Hello everyone, welcome back to the full game walkthrough, episode 17. Today we're going to be starting Mount Olympus. The last episode we finished off Marleybone with Big Ben and the counterweights. Uh, so let's talk to Cyrus. You are by now, no doubt, familiar with the immortal games, yes? No? <sighs> Hmm, clearly you are falling behind in your reading for the term. No matter, I have a practical solution at hand. The Immortal Games are an open challenge hosted by the denizens of Aquila, one of my favorite empires to study. Unlike other provincial tournaments, this is more of a free-form approach. They are open to any students of magic, not just wizards. The games will push you to your limits, but are an excellent test of your determination, wits, and fortitude. Impress the immortals of Aquila, and who knows what secrets you might glean. Go and speak to the legionnaire Romulus on Cyclops Lane. He will tell you how to begin a competition. All right. Many greetings, wizard. If you are sound, then all is well. Professor Drake sent you? He has much favor with my people. Ah, he told you to ask about the immortal games? The immortals of Mount Olympus, the greatest heroes and champions of Aquila, host this Herculean competition. But I've been away so long, I've forgotten the way home. Seek Harold Argleston in the library. He'll know how to get you there. I believe we have to come back to him, so I'm gonna leave a mark and just point to the commons. I hope you aren't here to research for Professor Faumea. She is very kind, but I am not fond of smoldering books. <laughs> you are working on a study for Professor Drake. Most admirable. I applaud your courage. What do you need to know? How to reach Aquila? Why, simply use the Chariot of Aethon. That's the monument in the park on Cyclops Lane. It's been there forever. You must have passed it at least a hundred times. I'm surprised you've never asked about it. I believe we have a scroll that explains how to activate it. Search the upper shelves under CH. You search under the CH section that Harold Argleston directed you to. There are a number of scrolls here. Chariot of Fire, Chariot of the Sea, Chariot of the Sun, Chariot of Thunder, Chariot of Ithacali. Oh, wait, here it is. Chariot of Athon. It was just out of order. The instructions look simple enough. You should take it to Romulus. Librarian Argleston told you to use the Chariot of Athon? Of course! It will take you to the Garden of the Hesperides, and from there you may enter the Immortal Games. Anyone from the Spiral may compete to prove themselves in this magical challenge. Those who are victorious win honor and praise and glory. Those who fall short, well, they are welcome to try again. Once they have healed any bruises and broken bones, of course. <laughs> 
Use the scroll of Athon to activate the chariot and travel to Aquila. Once you reach the Garden of the Hesperides, speak to the satyr Silenus. Silenus tends the garden and is a philosopher and poet. He will explain the immortal games. There is an arcane chant contained within the scroll. Come all and admire the glittering chariot and its workmanship. Praise Aethon, the blazing pegasus of the sun. Seek Olympus, not shaken by winds, nor ever wet with rain nor snow. Seek the clear and cloudless air of the immortals. Well, something seemed to work. All right, here we go. We're already in Aquila. And we just got to talk to Silenus before we can start Mount Olympus. Hail, wizard. How will the world speak your name? You have come to put your name forward in the immortal games. Uh, we are honored whenever a participant takes up the call. The Immortals, the great winged lords and ladies of Aquila, enjoy crafting challenges and seeing who can overcome them. There are three parts of the Immortal Games in total, each with its own grave risk and thrilling rewards. The first competition will take you to the heart of Olympus, the home of the Immortals themselves. Speak to my oldest daughter, the nymph Egli. She will tell you more. Then return to me. Fair wizard, it is a pleasure to meet you. I welcome you to our wondrous home of Aquila. Mount Olympus is the home of the Immortals. They have lived there for as long as memory and have mastered the great forces. The Immortals created these games for their own amusement, but also to reward the most skilled magicians in the spiral. In Olympus, the shining city upon the mountain, you will face battles of wits, magical duels, and the lightning itself. You have a kind face, so I hope you do well. Wizard, did Egli tell you of the greatness of Olympus and the demanding trials before you? Ascend the stone stairs carved long ago by Hephaestus Coppersmith. And they will take you right to the gates of Olympus. Athena Battle Site will meet you. She will tell you what you must accomplish to complete these immortal games. All right, so I'm actually just going to use the team up feature since um, I should be able to solo this, but that would take way too long. So I'm just going to team up. We already got three members. Never mind, we only have one. So I'll cut and come back to whenever I have a run. Okay, we got a team. Hail, Challenger. You have traveled far to reach Mount Olympus. Are you eager to test yourself in our games? Your first task is to collect three Legion tokens. You will find the first in the Sun Chamber, defended by a Poyo Bright One. You stand before the Radiant Sun Lord, Apoyo Bright One. Let me show you the light. He's got a whole bunch of health here. We actually have a really high level with us.
Honestly, there's not really much I can do here since he's already using a feint. Usually there's not very many people going to Mount Olympus, so I'm actually um, very fortunate that we did get a full group to go in with. I don't know why this dude hasn't hit yet. There we go. It's one of my favorite spells. My uh, highest level wizard is a fire, and it's just such an amazing spell. So cool to look at. Well done, wizard. Let this illustrious day be recorded in the scroll. Take the legion token, and good luck in your next duel. Good beginning, wizard. You will find the next Legion token in the Moon Chamber. Lucky for you, my sister Artemis New Moon is away. However, I doubt she left the token undefended. What? A challenger? <laughs> Don't you know? You are already beaten! I actually don't know what resist she has. Oh, he's actually here. I thought he left for a second. 
thought they're gonna kill right here anyways. Here we go. Peace, wizard. You have won. Although I won't swear you didn't do it through trickery. Take your reward. This legion token also reduces in size as you approach. You store it carefully. I wish we were actually able to meet uh, Artemis in this, but I'm pretty sure we don't meet her in any of the three dungeons. Second victory. Well played, wizard. Now, for the third legion token. Climb up to the sky balcony and take it from the Praetorian Guard. Did I mention they were Zeus's personal guard? Don't fret. Oh, they're actually already in the battle. Tremble in your robes, wizard, and prepare yourself for defeat! I wonder if he just didn't get a meteor. Should be able to use something now. Or maybe not. The brightest spell in the game. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty cool spell, though. They do need to lower the brightness a little bit though. I think uh, using too many of that, you might go blind. Hold your spells. I surrender to you. Take the Legion token with all respect. The Legion token shrinks down again to the size of a game piece. You quickly take it. Well done, wizard. You have acquired the three legion tokens you require. Take them down to the arena. You will meet my discordant sister. Call her Eris Golden Apple. She will try to confound and confuse you. Unravel Eris's mysteries and get the key she holds. Then come back to me. Honestly, I think I might just have to stay here because they already talked to her. And it looks like they're already doing it. The only piece of gear I'm really um, looking for in this is the, the robe, but I don't even know if I really need it because it doesn't give uh, Curse you, universal wizard. I resist. was sure my trial would be your undoing. Here is the key to the Hall of the Watchful Eye. Take it to Athena. The key you took from Eris. 
will allow you to open the Hall of the Watchful Eye. You will have to pass through the hall and the elite Cyclops guard to reach the forge of Hephaestus. You must win Hephaestus to your cause. Behold our wrathful gaze, pitiful wizard. My brothers and I guard the forge of the coppersmith. We see your weakness. A wizard come It does feel like I'm not really doing anything in this. I don't think I've casted a single spell that wasn't that one elemental uh excuse me, elemental blade. I wonder if I should just use the blizzard just because. <laughs> I mean, they're obviously gonna kill before it even gets to me, but just so I look like I'm doing something. I totally helped. The sight of our defeat blinds me. Go in peace, wizard, and seek Hephaestus Coppersmith in his forge. Hail, challenger. <laughs> it has been a long time since a wizard has made it this far. Who was the last? One of Cyrus's pupils, I think. You want my aid? I am uh, indisposed. My bronze eagles have wandered off and I cannot get around without them. Search Olympus for my bronze eagles and bring them back here. Then we will talk. I'm just going to wait here also because they probably already looked for him. I'll just look around the room, I guess. Yeah, they already got two of them. I wonder if these weapons are actually in the game. I feel like I've seen this one before. Alright. Now, to help your quest, ultimately you must face Zeus himself. You'll want a wicked weapon to even the odds. I have crafted such a thing recently for my brother, Ares. Go up to the sky balcony and into the hall of battle beyond it. Duel Eddie's savage spear and take the sky iron hosta from him. Good luck, wizard. I think. Little barbarian wizard, you do not have the heart of a warrior. Your spells will do you no good. Come, taste iron and blood. Do not waste your puny spells on me, for I will trade you strike for strike. So he actually cheats too. 
I think whenever you hit him, um, do a single attack spell, uh, he'll hit you. I hope we're able to make it to this fight. Oh, they actually waited on me. Unless they're waiting on the other guy. That's probably actually what they're doing. Don't think I'll ever need those. Oh, they're gone. Not sure if I can use a faint, but I'm gonna try anyways. Must be really hard for life and death to start. Actually, uh, probably pretty easy for for death, but for life it must be pretty hard to actually solo uh, throughout the early wo uh, worlds before you even get your first attack all spell, which I don't even think is until level 68. Might as well. Wait, was that Diego? Oh, no, that's um, one of the mobs from Atlantia, I think. You know, I'm just going to do it. First time we're actually trying to help out here. We actually don't fizz, which is great. Twenty three hundred. Not bad. Let's see what this guy has. We actually did kill. I am impressed. Of course, this was but a mock battle. I did not want to destroy you and offend Athena. You have earned this reward. Take it and go forth to challenge our father. Next time we meet, I will not be so forgiving. Eight thousand for this. Child of Ravenwood, welcome to Olympus. This is the apex of the spiral, and you must be honored to stand before us. Do not fear failure. We will be merciful if you fall. But now, come show us what you have mustered in that school of Merle Amber. Four thousand health. Since we can't really do very much to the uh, Minotaur minions, we might wyvern. They're all blade. Two 
two faints. Oh, that's where I've seen him before. It's actually um, Zeus's wand. Not sure if I can shield, but we're gonna try it. Actually, two of them did shield. a team player. Four hundred damage. Now what we could do is we could just totally steal these faints. Since actually, um, I believe, yeah, he has resist to myths, so they might actually even want me to hit. I'm gonna tell myself that anyways. So long as they don't shield Zeus, we should be good. Keep shielding themselves though. Oh no. Oh, he actually does have Pierce too though. if he'll use a convert. Not too much. We are getting kind of low. He really doesn't want to die. To be honest, I don't know why he used human go frog there. This might be one of the longest spells ever.
that didn't really do very much. Not even 2k. I think all this guy's gonna do is shield himself. You know, honestly... Might as well just Blizzard. These guys are rank 7 elites. I actually did 400. Oh, you know what? Might as well. Oh, shoot. I probably should have Wyvern instead because he has a life shield on. I didn't even notice that. I'm actually not sure how much. We should be able to kill here though. It doesn't look like he's got too much health. Oh, we fizzed anyways. Because that makes sense. Yeah, we actually would have killed on that though. Just in case, let's try this Wyvern. But I do believe he's gonna be killed from the Humongo Frog. I just hope that we get these robes. Yeah. <laughs> 
actually didn't die. So we do get the final hit on him. There we go. <laughs> Blessed wizard, you do like an immortal born. We used but a fraction of our power, of course, but you are skilled. Go Nothing. and speak to wise Silenus. He will record your name and accomplishments. Nope. I mean, that's fine. Uh, we did get level 31 now. And actually, now that I think about it, I still haven't gotten, uh, I think, Bale Frost, the bubble for ice. Hail, wizard. I heard the song of victory from up high. You are one of the few who has completed the first stage of the Immortal Games. I name you the Honorable Bronze Archon to commemorate your accomplishments. Be proud in victory, yet know that greater challenges await. A messenger from Aquila will invite you to participate when you are ready. All right, so now we just have 40 more levels, well, 39 more levels until we can do the next dungeon in Aquila. Let's just go pick up Bale Frost. At least I'm fairly certain we didn't get it. No, we didn't. Talk to Lydia. Gray Rose. We're not really going to be using this, to be honest. I think it's a waste of two pips. Especially at the, the lower levels. Um, but anyways, uh, that was the first Mount Olympus. Or the first uh, Aquila Dungeon Mount Olympus. Uh, next episode we're going to be doing the beginning of Mushu. Thanks for watching.